Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Roka and today we are back with a little bit of 20 minutes to bond, I was having a spectacular day and let's just get into it, last episode we actually 100% of this game, so I'm free of any responsibility. Oh, uh, my hand cam isn't on. I'm free of any responsibility to do a certain challenge, and uh, I think that means we just we just gotta have some fun, man. We just gotta have some fun with Luna. It's my personal favorite character, and let's do something interesting. Uh, I think I tried to do flame cannon last time. Yeah, I did. Let's do... Mm. I kind of want to do a Luna Salvo Knife. I don't think I've ever done Luna Salvo Knife. It could be interesting. And the way we're going to do this is... We're going to take... We're going to take Alacrity. That's very important, I think. Alacrity, close combat. We're gonna go glass cannon. Actually, I think also we might have an opportunity to do gun glyph for once. I'm gonna try it. I almost always do glass cannon. Let's let's mix it up. Let's let's take gun glyph and I don't feel like messing around with cadence. Cadence and the knives are pretty good in combo. I, I think we're just gonna go dedication and and try our hardest to just take one summon that's, that's all we're gonna do today um other than that for the shield runes we can go not not a huge fan of courage in this build i think vigilance is pretty good some extra pickup range off rip and momentum is also pretty good in this scenario and Honestly, let's get some dodge and some healing online. No windshield this time around. We're gonna be going to, I believe, I wanna, I wanna test out this on the pumpkin patch because Salvo Knife has a little bit of um, a niche use case of, we have to be moving in order for the Salvo Knife to work. So um, if you didn't know, we can't just shoot the salvo knife. We actually have to move, and then the salvo knife will target things. And then we can shoot the salvo knife. It's a little bit different. Um, you can see the gun glyph doing, doing its thing. It's not very strong. It's only 10% of our damage. And 10% of 20 is 2. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're really going to need as much damage as we can physically get. And taking double shot is... It's probably not the right move. Uh, th this is normally a very good upgrade. Not when I'm relying on my damage values to be pretty good. Because then we also get access to Fusilade, which is just not amazing. So I think I think we're just going to start with a good old haste. It synergizes very well with the Salvo Knife. Whenever we get increased movement speed, the Salvo Knife is going to gain targeting speed so it's going to target things faster which is nice which is very handy to have on this thing because later in the game if we're if we aren't just killing things outright it's going to be tough to move around in the first place so it's something we got to watch out for let's get some early scaling going on as well some magnetism paired with the vigilance already have got some pretty insane xp collection range it's the truth. You know, this might be the first time I've ever used Salvo Knife without Cadence. And funnel, funnily enough, I almost always use Cadence. And, uh, yeah, I think Magic Scythe, pretty good, pretty good way to have our dedication be, be functional. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Um, this does more damage than the Salvo Knives, and I think we need, we need that damage as much as possible right now. Because as it stands, the salvo knife is sort of just chipping away at everything. Uh, ow. And we don't have glass cannon, which I'm very used to having glass cannon. The, the glass cannon damage damage values. Uh, blazing speed. Some extra tick damage. Is that doing 69? Oh, no. That is... Ah. Ah. I see. Okay. Sorry, that, that was the 
the scythe that's doing 69 damage right now. Very nice. Very nice. No. Um, I'm hoping that the burn later will sort of pick up and, and do some extra stuff for us. Mm. It looks like we're sort of just going for a lot of chip damage. It's going to be how we're going to deal with all these enemies. And I think if anything is damaged, the knife should be able to do, you know, something, hopefully. That's the hope, is that I can actually kill things with the salvo knife. I haven't really talked about it, but we also are playing Luna. So I would like to get some pierce, or at least some bounce. You know, we can go for bounce, either or. Doesn't really matter. They do similar things. In fact, bounce is actually probably better. Oh man, this is a tough call. Do you go for the extra hearts? I might. Um. No. No, no, no. We absolutely go for the dodge tree. The dodge is nice. I'm more interested in the movement speed that it contains as well. To be completely honest. But I'm really looking for some extra damage. I would like to have gun glyph do more damage than it is currently doing <laughs> because it's not doing any damage i don't know if you could tell but three damage right now is pretty lame it's pretty lame i want more than three damage and this, that's really the reason i don't ever fucking take this 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 rune is because the damage values in this game are generally pretty low and 10 percent of low is oh, even lower <laughs> It's not a good time. It's not a good time. If you want to have a good success, just take glass cannon and don't get hit. It's very simple. It's very simple. Uh, however, maybe maybe this is sort of introducing more of a challenge than I realize. So we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work this run. If we can make it to level twenty, I have pretty good confidence that we'll actually be able to do stuff. Um, we might actually have to go for the summon damage. The scythe is going to be the only thing that really really keeps us going here. But we'll go for the power shot. I believe in the knives. I do. I'm not giving up on them yet. And, you know, summon damage is already insanely high just due to dedication. I think also this video is sort of confirming to me that the... The warding stones actually count as summons. It wouldn't seem like it because they really don't they don't do damage. But when I had the scythe alone in the last video, it was not doing this much damage. It was doing only 40 damage. And so my hypothot my hypothesis is, my hypothesis is that ooh, splinter. More chip damage. Yeah, I like that. Uh, my hypothesis is that. The warding stones do count as summons. And we are actually experiencing dedication at this moment. Splinter, man. It gives me access to more damage. You know what? I'll take it. And it is more damage in the end. Um, yeah. Shame we didn't get this in the last run. Oh, sorry. I'm talking too much about the last run. I, we should be more focused on this run. So these little splinter... Uh, knives are doing the same damage as the gun glyph and that's still not a lot but the fact that there's going to be so many more means that every instance of damage has a chance to kill something which has a chance to deal more damage so the cascading effect i like a lot i'm going to take parallel star which is going to have two stars i still have not really explained who luna is basically we just get black holes you've probably been seeing it you probably already know if you're watching 20 minutes of dawn videos but if you don't there you go. We get two black holes. They suck enemies in. And it's really good if you have, like, piercing damage of some kind. That way everything is grouped together and you can kind of just blast through all of them all at once. Okay. I'm, I'm of the opinion that Pyromage here is, is going to be really good. Dark Arts, not so much. I think Curse on this build isn't the best we don't have crazy damage values and so 200 percent of 28 
is what, fucking 56? Uh, that's an okay amount of damage. That's still less than the scythe. And, uh, that's kind of what I'm like, uh, maybe not worth it. Plus, it's so delayed. I'd rather have just instantaneous damage in the form of the Pyromage, which is going to have a chance to start ticking for three damage per second and can stack. So, some good stuff to think about here. Big shot. This is huge. Okay, this is a big damage up for us. Yeah, wow. Up to 37 damage. And you can see the knives getting bigger and bigger as well. Very nice. So, my plan for the rest of this run is to grab the trick knife, which gives us bounce on our bullets. And what that's going to do is it's going to make all of our knives bounce towards the nearest enemy, which is pretty good. That's a pretty good thing to have, especially when bullets normally just disappear after one hit. It's nice. We're going to get some extra value out of every single bullet. And so suddenly Gun Glyph and Splinter are both going to be doing a lot more. A lot more for us. Uh, holy Arts. Holy Arts, man. This could be good. We have a lot of HP. And that 20 damage is enough. It's enough for me to really consider it. Um, at least considering how much we're reloading. Um, ah. Correction. It's kind of bad. As we are now. Just the way the knives work. We're not always shooting out all 12 of our bullets. And so... I should just be saying knives. Yeah, all 12 of our ammo. And that has the effect of not actually procking smite. So I've got to make sure we're targeting everything. I really want to get the full value of that. Here we go. It's not impossible. I think if we get higher fire rate or move speed, uh, that will solve that issue. Okay, now I feel like we could probably take double shot and have it be okay. The minus 10% damage is really going to affect our... Oh, our splinters and our gun glyph. Although, think about it. 10% off of our total damage is only like 1% of that damage. Maybe I shouldn't be thinking about it too much. And this is just better than not. Yeah. No, that makes sense in my head. Yeah, it's still only doing 4 damage, which isn't a ton. It's not like it was doing much more than that anyway. Oh, shit. This got chaotic very quickly. Um, we're going to need uh, the scythe to sort of kick it up a notch here. While I'm running away from the deer. Uh, this is taking too long. Uh, uh, mm, mm, no. No, 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 no. Okay, I will come back for that. We dodged something? That's not good. Oh, I think it was a ghost. I really gotta be paying, paying more attention to my where my crosshair is at because it's actually affecting the, the black holes. Suddenly, it become very much in danger. Uh, I'm gonna go in the wind. I think the bullet damage is gonna save us more than being small will. The dodge chance is only 5%, so I'd like this. And if we get hit, we're just dead anyway, so it's okay. Oh, a oh, oh, very well-timed heal, holy shit. Okay, this is where the salvo knife really, really starts to fall off in comparison to some of the other weapons is we can't move around. There's just way too many enemies. Ooh. Vitality is interesting. Oh, just kidding. Toma Wind is perfect. This is going to give us bonuses toward damage from move speed. And that's all right, because we have a ton of move speed, so I'm okay with this. Yeah, but just Salvo Knife, man. This is a very hard weapon to get into a late game with. Because you just, you just don't have the space that you need. We have a break right now, but very soon here, it's not going to be 
it's not gonna be easy for us to do this um i have the storm what's that 25 damage every two seconds in a big circle around us or fire starter i kind of like eye of the storm i really need that like close range damage to happen because anything that's near me needs to perish so that way i'm able to move yeah i think that's the right call we're doing okay it's the damage on our knives has gone up significantly thankfully Hmm. You know what's probably good for this is if I turn off auto reload. Uh, that way I can more consistently shoot and I can more consistently reload. Or actually shoot all of my ammo. This is the correct way to say that. So it doesn't just auto reload while, while I don't want it to. Uh, that way we can get smite working. I, th I think I need to do that actually. Okay. Burn damage. Maybe not. I don't see a lot of things burning on the screen, so it's maybe not the best choice. Shadow Blade, that's a 100% chance to curse, and it does extra damage. And the curse damage is going to be based on the Scythe damage, which means this is actually a pretty good take. And I think Scythe is still kind of the one thing that's giving me hope on this run. Oh, jeez. Hey. Please! Please let me through. Yeah, uh, fucking. I think it's time to do this. We need that summon damage, dude. Or we're not gonna make it through some of these next waves. Like minute 11, minute 10. That's gonna be rough for us. We real rough. Ooh, Frost Mage could be good. Frost Mage could be very good, actually. I'm gonna take that. Okay, we we all know Frost Mage is incredible. Um, and it may have just saved me, so... Thank you, Frost Mage. Mm. Okay! We made it all the way to Trick Knife. Thousand Knives is sort of anti-synergy for us with the... With the Smite. So we don't want that. Wind Knife gives us extra damage, but I really want Trick Knife to deal double damage. And then we can get Pierce and also convert that into Bounce. So I think tr Trick Knife, that's what I wanted the whole time. Uh, it's gonna make it, make our knives just that much more powerful, which is a, a nice thing to have. <laughs> more powerful knives is good. very weird playing without auto reload i gotta say i almost always have it on in fact this might be the first time i've ever taken it off win more and more move speed oh yeah all my damage is getting scaled up due, due to move speed which is insane and we actually have quite a bit of move speed so this is this is good this is good we're dealing 80 damage on each knife so you can imagine the splinters are doing eight eight damage pop much better than the two damage they were doing before. That chip damage is going to start to add up quite significantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feed the beast. Just have the scythe start scaling up. Makes sense. Scythe is still doing the most damage, so um, it's going to come in clutch. I, I, I get the feeling. Not to mention our targeting speed is also very good right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's very true. Uh, hmm. Magic lens. No. At this point, is Dark Arts viable? I think so. Especially with the, the, the Cursed Scythe. I think, yeah, because we can get some more curse damage, and that's just going to make the scythe that much stronger as well. I think that's the wise play. All right. We actually made it through that minute. I was a little worried about that. 
but frankly, we held our own pretty well. All right, I'm going to turn auto reload back on. I think it was good for that moment, but I don't really value the smite damage that much. And I'd rather just have the ability to fully target enemies if I need to. There's a reason it's on by default is because generally having a full mag is better than not. So this would be a good opportunity to also see, see the bounce. See the bounce as it goes. I want more. I just want my knives to bounce all over the place. It's going to be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. It's going to be interesting. Hopefully. I hope it's interesting. I know I'm interested to see it. I don't know about you guys, but I want to see knives go everywhere, man. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Frostbite cheese? Frostbite cheese. Why not? Why not? I, I'd say if we have the chance to win in this scenario, and I just pass it up, I, 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 there's no reason to. Honestly, like we should just take take the the benefit. This isn't this isn't the Abby challenge, okay? I'm not trying to restrict myself, but you know, these are the things I I think about. Do I want to cheese the game, or do I want to give give the game a chance? Just the 20 minutes till dawn lifestyle. I'm amazed that I'm dodging all this stuff. By the way, I. I don't know how, but I am. I think it's just the fact that I'm using the salvo knife and I'm already kind of forced to move everywhere. And so my brain is just sort of on autopilot, dodging everything. Um, the one thing I, I can't tell <laughs> is the arrow, the arrow tornadoes, they're fucking with me because they look like enemy projectiles for some reason. I can't see enemies standing underneath them. Nimble, yeah. Yeah, dude. 10% damage. That's what that is. Ooh, implosion. Yes. Okay. This is very good. This is very good. Implosion is incredibly strong. Of the three upgrades that we have, three or four, I can't remember. As Luna. Uh, implosion is one of the better ones. Especially now that we actually have a ton of damage. How much are we doing right now? 86. Yeah, dude. And that's, that's just applied to anything that's standing inside of my black holes, so. Goody. <laughs> goody, goody. I like that. Wow. I am just impressed by myself right now. I, I don't know how I'm able to actually physically process everything that's going on. Frankly, I'm not. I'm not processing everything. It's just happening. Um, and that's why I'm impressed is just my brain running on autopilot is doing an incredible job while I'm compensating. Maybe a little bit lucky. We did just get smaller, so perhaps... <laughs> perhaps that is going to assist us in the near future. But these bullets keep coming out of nowhere, too. Oh, no. So we gotta keep moving. We literally can't stop moving. That's just salvo knife things, but... Um, it's going to get very difficult very soon. Alright, thankfully there's no more eyeballs shooting at me. So they're not going to flush me out. They're not going to flush me out of my position. <gasps> yes, dude. Okay, so this is good. This is actually plus 20% damage, but also plus one bullet damage. Or, or sorry, plus one bounce. And then I think the way this works, I'm not actually too sure, but Reaper rounds pierce when you kill. So does that mean it bounces when it kills? And then if it keeps killing things, it just keeps bouncing. That is very interesting. And I would love to do like a Mythbusters on that. We're about to find out. We'll see if anything actually pierces or if it just ends up bouncing around a lot. Um, that'll really be the teller, but let's just take it. It is damage and a little bit of bounce. So just keep an eye out. If anybody sees it pierce just straight up, let me know in the comments. Because I I don't know if I have that kind of leeway. Yeah, I definitely don't. 
I can't observe that that much. I can try, but I think I did just see a pierce. The thing is, <laughs> there could also just be bounces that look like pierce because they bounce straight through. If there's an enemy directly behind them, that's entirely possible. Um, you know, frankly, I think quick hands is good here too. Well, like, I would like the reload speed. I don't want to be sitting on an empty mag because it means less time shooting. That's generally how that works. Yeah, all in all, I, uh, piercing or not, this is doing okay. We have enough damage. There's plenty of chip damage all over the place, so... Our relatively low... What is it? 94 damage? At this stage in the game, that is pretty... Pretty average. I think a little bit below average, to be completely honest, but... Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter, because we have Gun Glyph and Splinter doing a ton of chip damage. We've also got Arrow. Arrow Magic doing a ton of damage. It adds up. At first, it's very, very negligible, but when there's more enemies, it actually tends to do more for us. So. I mean, Gun Glyph has been pretty consistently just popping off every five seconds. So that's something to consider as well. Mm. Is it? Does it make any sense to get this at this point? I mean, all the XP on the ground is stuff that I can't reach. So yeah, I mean, I guess so. It's always nice to keep leveling up. Even this late in the game. All right, this is going to be an interesting boss fight because I don't really have anything left to target, so I end up just shooting a bunch. There's still some stuff, but yeah, the bounce is going crazy. Trick knife is a lot of fun. I gotta say, it's just very satisfying watching them bounce everywhere. <laughs> Unfortunate, there is still one more tree with bullet damage and also a little bit of pierce. Wow, that was fast. Okay, we do we do actually have a lot of damage. Jeez. I think it, it actually is more single target damage than it is area damage. The balance is really what's giving us area damage, but... Should I go Tome of Glass? Risk it all. You know, honestly, I haven't done it in a while, and I think it would break. It would break the game for me. Um, the doubling of my knives, which I have two knives, a pop. What's going to hit me is going to be a red ball. I'm going to do it. I could just take another Tome of Wind, but that's lame. Tome of Glass, dude. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> So we are one shot. Doesn't look like it, but our our HP is no longer a factor. We just die and then one hits. On the contrary, we we do a fuck ton of damage. So nothing nothing should be able to get to me. We do have four minutes left. Um, it's absolutely not over. It's still I I very much gotta focus now more than ever, honestly. I'm sort of taking it easy before. The bounces are making this, frankly, very easy. Um, summon damage, maybe. Gale damage? Actually, I think, because that, that's probably the play. This is 30 damage on these tornadoes, which is a lot. So it's like 55 damage on the tornadoes and the big spinny thing. That's a lot of damage. Okay. For how consistent it is, it is quite a bit. We do need to just sort of be very careful. And the moment I start seeing red balls is the moment I get scared again. I don't really fear for my life so much right now. But uh, I would like this boss to disappear. I just don't like it hounding me. Yeah, there we go. What makes that boss so difficult is if, if you can't kill the crowds enough and you're sort of just stuck in the center of, of the crowd, that boss just face tanks all your damage and pushes you out. So that's the only way that boss is ever gonna kill you. But if you have enough crowd clear, it's it's gonna be fun. This is also very good, Cosmic Burst. 
problem. Considering how often we reload, it's like an extra gun glyph, but it does 50% damage, which is the damage we had before we took Tome of Glass. So that's also still pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, reflex, dude. Extra move speed, extra damage, and extra dodge chance based on how much move speed we have. This is gonna be like 60% dodge. Like that's, that is a lot of dodge chance we just picked up. So there's a chance that we don't die in one hit. There's a chance that we dodge that hit. It's all very real. Let's, um, let's, we're, we're not even thinking about the damage we got from that. It, this is pretty good. This is a nice build. I like this. Tome of glass and everything, man. This is a lot of fun. Do I go rapid fire here? I kind of, oh, we, I should. Yeah, 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 of course. There's bounce in here. No, we gotta. I think fire rate was actually kind of holding me back a little bit, too. Because frankly, the faster we shoot, the more I'm moving and the, the more I'm targeting and the more I can shoot. Um, it's not super important. Obviously, we made it this far without really picking up any fire rate. But when I need to not get hit at all, it starts to add up. Right, I do just want the bounce. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, dude. Holy shit. These knives are crazy. Right, these last two minutes, though. I don't remember if there's still bullets to worry about in the pumpkin patch. I know we still have to deal with witches. The next wave is going to be witches, I believe. Uh, and those have quite a significant amount of HP that we have to worry about. And this wave might also have the... Ooh. Pick up range? No, no. I think we just go for the extra damage just in case. Plus bullet damage. Oh my god, yeah, they're fast, dude. But we actually seem to kill them pretty quickly, too. They do have more health. They're just... Oh, okay. Um, I could mess this up. It's very possible. What this game is really good for is developing a good eye for reading the screen and just keeping track of all the things that are on the screen. Oh, yeah, there are definitely still bullets. Okay. Um, that's not terrifying at all. Just because there's so much happening, like, you need to process that, you know, these are the enemies and this is nothing that's going to hurt me. Just tough to do. Tough to do, but very important. At this point, yeah, holy might. An extra 40 damage on the smite. Bars? <laughs> Bars, dude, what? Okay. Ah! Okay. All right. Not over yet. All right, what does minute one look like? Hopefully it's just witches, but that, that would be just a wish. A wish for wish witches. <laughs> a wish for witches, man. I think what I want is... Do I want glare? Does that make any sense? I think I kind of just want ice shard. <sighs> or fire starter. Or magic lens. Honestly, magic... No, 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 no. Actually, we could probably give up on dedication now. There's really no point. I mean, the, the scythe is saving me a lot, probably. I'll take Ice Shard. It's probably the safest take. And frankly, I just don't want to lose with Tome of Glass. You know, every, every run has the potential to lose, but Tome of Glass runs really have a potential to lose to very small mistakes. I mean, Tome of Glass is easily considered a mistake in its own right but i think we've got the the right kind of build for it actually I mean, we're wrapping up we've got 30 seconds maybe electromage just cap it all off with a little bit of lightning 
Yeah, just add to the chip damage. Aye, 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 aye. And then just get out of here. Just don't even... Don't even question it. Oh, man. Woo! That one had my <laughs> my nerves on edge, man. That was fucking... That was a spicy run. We, we got down to 1 HP early on. I forget where, where we had low HP. But um, then we took oh, Tome of Glass. That was that was thrilling all the way through. Holy shit. What a fucking good run, man. That was awesome. Yeah, definitely try this out. Luna with the Stavlo Knife build. It's, it's a little, little anti-synergy in a way because Luna pulls them all together. But sometimes that what that means is it pulls enemies closer to you than you might have normally wanted them to be. And so that sort of counter synergy to the salvo knife where I want to be moving. But if I'm pulling enemies towards me, I might have less space. And so you guys watched the run, so you probably get what I'm saying. Um, but we, we pulled it off. We pulled it off, albeit with a little bit of cheese. I mean, I didn't, I didn't notice Frost Mage too much in that one. Frankly, the... The savior of that run was probably just the, the sheer amount of bullet damage we were able to, able to pick pick up. Without that, I don't think Splinter or Gunglyph would have been doing anything. It's not like I can check the stats for that here, but we turned Splinter and Gunglyph into non-negligible amounts of damage. We I think we had like 150 damage at the end there, at like 87 before the doubling, and so. You know, that's 15 damage on, on the splinters, which is three of them. You know, there's 45 damage. Like, it, it, it adds up, is, I guess, my point. Especially when they're so crowded. Oh, man. that's that is, Dude, it's got me talking about it like this. Uh, you know that's a fucking good run, dude. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to click the link down below if you want to support me outside of the channel. I've got a Patreon and a Discord that you can join, both for free. And, um, yeah. <laughs> this has been 20 Minutes of Dawn, everybody. And I will see you all in the next episode, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.